evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The body snatcher's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very... Anderson's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Remember, stick it. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. He clinches when he gets to the inside. He is damaged badly there. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. A lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got off his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't Holy give it to him it. Holy grab it, grab it. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. That's okay, that's okay, let it go, let it go. The body snatcher's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Halfway through round number one. Defense just covering up down low. Good block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Anderson's feeling great right now, and why not? 
He just scored the knockdown, and now he's got that eye. He's got that target, that vision. He knows what he can get after. And there's no reason why he wouldn't have that. Right now, the only thing that he has to be careful that he doesn't have is overconfidence. He doesn't get reckless. Just keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Much better. Much better. That was good. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. A well-timed right hand by Anderson. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Anderson. Screw that again. That's screw that one more time. Halfway through this round here. The body snatcher is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Shake it off. Come on now. Let's go. Shake that off. He blocks that belt line well. Finish with the big hook, baby. Finish with the hook. Come on. Cover up. Able to get rid of that one. Back and forth exchange. Snatcher's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Good step back counter punch there. Nice block by Anderson. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That was a miss by Anderson. Oh, what a shot upstairs. He's going to have to grab on. Anderson's got that look. He's got that look like, hey, I know exactly why I had success in that last round. He was able to stun his man, Teddy. Yeah, you can see that confidence, that body language. Now it's up to an adjustment from his opponent. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right now. I need you to move this round, all right? Now move. Now he's coming in. Swing. I think she's still hurt. He's going to look to finish you off. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Focus. Focus. The body snatcher's right hand scores well that time. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Keep moving, keep moving. He got hit right.
right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the body snatcher. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh no! Anderson's left now getting into the mix. Reaching the halfway mark of this round, the body snatcher's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He's still not moving enough. Come on now, move! Stairs with a right hand. That's it. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. How about a return to sender with the left hand? The body snatchers' punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Good job, good job, champ. And that's the end of round three. Let him work. You're letting him control this fight. You gotta impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger, and you punch harder than this guy. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking the lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. A stinging right hand by the body snatcher. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance, stay effective. Oh, what a big hook to the head by Anderson. Anderson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. He has his target, he lands a straight right. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Little head hunting with the left. Anderson's tagged by a hook. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Nice. Nice. 
That's a good block by Anderson. Ten seconds remaining in this round. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent, Teddy. When you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. you got to land a big punch now, champ. No doubt about it. You're losing this fight. You need to throw and land. Round number five has arrived. Anderson's out there. He's out there fighting this fight, but for how long? He's still damaged coming off that last round. Yeah, Joe, I agree with you. I don't know that he had enough time to recover from that last round. What it's going to be up to is him defensively by himself a little time, but believe it or not, it's up to his opponent. Does he go after him, or does he give him a chance to recover? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. shaky he was hurt able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes he returns the favor with a right hand of his own halfway into round number five here by Anderson. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the body snatcher. come to the end of this round and for this fighter I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there Teddy and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round yeah and that's a bad sign that means that the gas tank is a little low he's low on petrol all right breathe deep breath get some water you good you all right breathe So a fresh round is underway, but 
is it a fresh fighter? Anderson's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Good block there by Anderson. <laughs> Not an accurate hook at all. Halfway through this round. Blocks away that headshot. The body snatcher's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Not much action as he just ties up. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. Now listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Stay away from those. Able to cover up that gut. The body snatcher's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good defensive skill. Very Still nice defensive guard Come there. On, now move, move. <laughs> the body snatcher's punch didn't come close. Get out the way from those punches. At the halfway head, point of round head. seven. <laughs>
Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. <laughs> jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. <laughs> The body snatcher's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Good, strong combo. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Unload right now, more punches, baby. Punches in bunches, let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Good step back and counter punch there. Beautiful. Get in there. Get in there, champ. Boy, oh boy. That's tough to take. Good block there by Anderson. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Gotta keep working. Get ahead, but you have to keep working right now, baby. That was good. That was real good. It took a lot out of you. All right. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Just relax. Relax. Are you all right? I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up, or do they become satisfied? We're going to find out right now how this guy is in those areas. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Anderson's proving to be elusive. to cover up along the belt line blocks that one the body snatchers giving his opponent fits right here his head movement is making for such an elusive target yes it is now the opponent has to make an adjustment he has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top so go downstairs to the plate solid shot the left hand oh that's gotta hurt and he goes down again will he get up from this to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Ten seconds to go in this round.
Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Nice strike after catching one by the body snatcher. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. He missed with that headshot. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. Good block. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. You're not focusing. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Scores up top with a left. Anderson's cracked by a right hand. Gets rid of that body shot. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Relax, come on. Now. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Uppercut, uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby, come on. He just missed that shot up top. Body shot, body shot. Final 10 seconds. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight, and I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Let's let it go, okay? Let it go. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. They start round number 10. Anderson's got to be steady on his feet right here. Everybody's looking to see how he looks right now after being stunned in that last round. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you find a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. Still and you got to go to the one place that's not moving. On, Guess where that is? On, Downstairs. Now. 
Watch the hook! <laughs> The body snatcher scoring with that right hand. Halfway through round 10. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Anderson's got to do more than this. I mean, Come you can't on, just sit there stationary now, and up. expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Listen to me. This is it. Let's finish this guy off. You can do it. Knock this fucker out. Uppercut followed by the hook. Come on, finish with a hook. Let's do it. Deep breath for me. You're in control of this. Just keep it up, all right? Nice work. Let's go, let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's move out there. This guy's gonna win this fight if you don't take control, son. You got to take some control out there. You need to cover. Round number 11. Teddy, this has been a very good fight. Your scorecard has it even. The body snatcher's corner is trying to implore him to go out there and just give a little more. Make that difference. Get that win. Well, that's what it comes down to. Who can do the little extra things? You know, if the other guy throws two, you throw three. If the other guy throws three, you throw four. That's how you win a close fight down the stretch. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. You see him holding on. Come on now, relax. Deep breathe. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Open, yeah, yeah. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Use the jab. Use the jab. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. 
Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Anderson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Punch, punch, that's it. Taking too many punches, hands up. We count down the final moments of this round. Stay with me now. You have to do more to win this fight. All right? You have to do more. You're okay? You're off? You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. You're doing okay. I need you to move your head more side to side. You're ahead on points. You have this one, okay? Be smart in the last round. Keep circling. it more that's it that's it and he just holds on there Anderson's defense is paying off now. Oh, what an exchange! Able to dismiss it. Anderson's giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now just so much more defense we're seeing out of him. Well, right now, what I think he has to do is try to get an Oscar. Get that award that those great actors get and not show that he's defensive right now because if he shows that too much, his opponent is going to know what he has to do to take advantage. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Final minute of this final round of this fight. showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Focus! Focus! <laughs> and they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Good job. Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring.
Anderson's your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body, and it paid off for him, and it paid off for us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.